black dude fabricates white America hate crime. Curtis Dwight Florney is behind bars this week on allegations he tried to burn down a refugee's store and then blame it on white racists. Flurney, a black man, allegedly targeted the Charlotte, North Carolina store in early April 2017. Police believe he left the Bhutanese owner this threatening letter, laced with prejudiced comments including, Trump's is our nation builder for white America, and we need to get rid of Muslims, Indians, and all immigrants, as well as threats of torture. And he could have gotten away with it too if it weren't for a nearby surveillance camera that captured the entire thing. Firefighters brought the blaze under control, and cops soon tracked Flurney down. The 32-year-old's been charged with writing the threatening letter, as well as for ethnic intimidation, arson, and felony breaking and entering. Meanwhile, store owner Kamal Dimal told local media that his store remains open to everyone. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. More than 7,000 people were the victims of hate crimes in 2015, according to the FBI's latest statistics. Woman charged with hate crime over Facebook Live racial tirade. We don't try like you're in Mexico, lady. And yes, I know you're Spanish. I was just leaving that off the vid. Don't Facebook Live and drive, you crazy hoot. That's our advice for Seattle woman Sandra Jemetsky. In November, she filmed herself ranting on Facebook Live for 10 minutes while stalking a Mexican immigrant family on their way to drop their kids at school. She road rages about the un-American driving and how she's surrounded by foreigners and calls out the family for what she dubs their Spanish privilege. At the most heated point, she even threatens to ram the family's car off the road and get them deported back to Mexico. Oh, this must be where her kids go to school, in the privileged area. The worst part is that she also ranted at them in front of the son's school for all the world to see. All them cars you guys got in your driveway, that Corvette that keeps coming by your house, that's me. Yeah, she's not all there. But why'd she get so mad? She claims one of their kids caused a car accident last year. But according to the cops, that crash was Jemetsky's fault. Seattle police charged Jemetsky with a hate crime and threw her in jail. Her bail was set at half a million dollars. You flipping me off, lady? You're really classy. You're really classy. If she's found guilty of a hate crime, a Class C felony under Washington state law, Jemetsky could be looking at five years of jail time for the offense, a $10,000 fine, or both. That seems a bit harsh, no matter how crazy Jemetsky actually is. What do you think? Woman sneaks up on Korean grandma and shoves her to the ground. Police believe the woman in this video clip was either heavily intoxicated or off her meds, because how else do you explain striking an 83-year-old Korean grandmother in Los Angeles? On February 1st at around 2.40 p.m., the elderly woman was seen going for a stroll on her own in Koreatown. For reasons unknown, 27-year-old Alexis Duval suddenly came running up behind her. Duval went right at the Korean grandma, pushing her in the back and sending her face first into the concrete. The grandma laying motionless on the ground, Duvall tried to escape. Luckily, a good Samaritan followed her and caught her on camera. Police were able to catch up to her soon after and arrest her. She originally gave them a fake name, but a fingerprint scan revealed her true identity. A witness uploaded her account of the attack on Facebook, claiming the woman screamed white power as she ran off. Yet no other witnesses in the area claimed to have heard this. Aside from a one-inch gash on her forehead, the grandma is reported to be okay. Black woman attacks fancy white man in a possible hate crime. A black woman faces potential hate crime charges after she beat a white man with a hammer and smashed his Porsche and boat at a gas station in Virginia. The incident occurred on the morning of April 1st at an Exxon gas station off Interstate 95 in Caroline County. The man, identified by police only as Bob, was filling up when he noticed a woman was yelling at him. The woman, 26-year-old Angela M. Jones of Newark, New Jersey, got in Bob's face and told him she was sick of fancy white people. When Bob tried to ignore her, she started bashing his boat and car with a hammer. She then hit Bob in the face several times as he tried to stop her. The hammer broke during the attack, 
When Bob's wife returned from the bathroom, Jones insulted her for her race and class before spitting in her face. Bob says he has no idea why Jones went after him and his wife, but he guesses she thought they were rich. New Jersey State Police were able to identify Jones after a witness took a photo of her vehicle. She's wanted in Virginia on charges of malicious wounding, assault, and destruction of property. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. White supremacists traveled to New York to target black people. The Maryland man who traveled to New York City and fatally stabbed an African-American man on Monday night reportedly admitted that his attack was racially motivated. 28-year-old James Jackson claimed he traveled from Baltimore to New York by bus deliberately to get media attention for his crime. Jackson was looking for a target on the streets when he encountered Timothy Kaufman, who was collecting bottles from trash cans. Jackson then stabbed Kaufman repeatedly in the chest with an 18-inch blade sword. Just after midnight on Wednesday, Jackson went to a police station in Times Square and confessed to his crime. Police arrested the suspect on a charge of second-degree murder, but additional hate crime charges are also expected to be filed.